Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech Head. In today's video, what we are going to do is we are going to be unboxing, setting up, and doing an initial review of the Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra. This has been one of the most anticipated Samsung products. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now, I do want to let you know that this watch has a set price of $650. It only comes in one size, 47 millimeters, and you have the option to buy three different colors silver, gray, white, all in titanium. And of course, if you do want to buy this watch, the links are going to be down below with the best pricing and maximum incentives. So let's dive in and get started. So here's the box. I'm going to lift this up. And within a box, we are going to have another box, which is this one right here. The watch is inside this guy. I'm going to put that right here. And you can see we got this band, which you have different band options as you are purchasing. So let me take that box out as well and put it right here. Okay, so basically we can put these to the side and you get two boxes. Now when I lift this one up right here, we get the watch. It, it is right over here. We're going to come back to that in a second. This one, let's lift this up. And here's the band as you can see. Okay, we are going to set that in a second. Let's put it on the table. Now let's grab the watch. There is a little bit more over here. So that is the watch. Nothing in here, but there is one box inside here. And of course, as expected, we are gonna get that charger and we are gonna get a quick start guide. So these are all the contents in the box. All right, so here we have it. The Samsung Watch Ultra. Let's look at the buttons. So right over here, we have a quick button that is programmable. This one is the home slash power button. This one is the back button. So we have three total buttons. Also, if you look around the device, you'll see this is all gonna be titanium. Now the build quality of this watch is a mixture of titanium grade four and grade two. It is designed for the extreme conditions so it is gonna have a powerful build quality. Now on the rear of the watch, we have the upgraded bioactive sensor for heart rate tracking and all that good stuff. And of course, we also have the battery charging back here. So let's actually charge this and turn it on and set it up. Now, by the way, I just clicked the bands in place and I do wanna let you know, these are buttons here. There's a button here and a button here. So you press this button and you can pull the band out. And that's how easy it is to change and insert bands. So those two are band extraction buttons. And of course, I wanna show you guys what it looks like on the hand. Beautiful, as you can see. Very high quality product, machined with perfection. Let's go back here. Beautiful. All right, so I got my charger here my watch and my phone. So I'm gonna grab the watch, I'm gonna put it on the charger. It's a magnetic connection and it's gonna start the charge immediately. We should see it pop up, there we go. We have that little charging icon. And then I'm gonna tap on the power button to turn this on. Looks like we already have 78% battery. So I'm gonna tap on this button. That should power the watch on. Let's see what happens. There we go, it's turned on. It is gonna take a couple of seconds to load and then we'll see what happens as we pair it to our smartphone. Pairing this watch to your smartphone, your Samsung smartphone is essential to get the full functionality. Okay, so it said welcome, and there was a quick pop-up right here. It wants me to connect to the device. So again, I'm gonna tap on connect. All right, let's see what happens. It's gonna launch the Samsung wearable app, and it's saying, make sure the numbers are confirmed. So I'm gonna tap on confirm. That is the watch I wanna to connect to. And it's gonna be downloading some of the latest software to get this process complete. It says, check your phone to complete setup. So we'll wait for that to be done. We are at 100%, let's see what happens. There we go, it says for your review. I am gonna disable everything for now. I can change these settings later. These are just for automatic updates, but you do have to accept the terms and the privacy. Tap on continue. And then, do you wanna give some of the access to the watch? Of course you do, if you want the full functionality. So I'm gonna say allow, okay? And then allow, whatever it says, I'm just gonna say allow. So now it is getting ready to connect. There we go. Getting Google account info. I'm gonna say continue, okay? Put my fingerprint. Look at how this seamless the whole process is. Very well built ecosystem. 
It is checking Google Play. That's the store where we are going to be able to download all the apps. So here's some recommended apps you can install. Let me see what they are real quick. So it looks like I don't need these myself, but you can do it. So I'm not going to select any one of these. I'm going to say these I'll select. I'm going to tap on continue. All right. I'm going to say next. We have an automatic watch backup. Checking for smart switch on your watch. I'm going to say allow. Okay. So I'm going to skip this. I'm not going to restore anything from my other watch. Skip. So it's going to be a brand new one. Now look at this. During the setup process, it is talking about the quick button, which is this orange button right here that you can customize. So if I tap on this, I can customize it to open certain things. Flashlight, stopwatch, water lock, bike, running, walking, exercises. So I'll come back to that in a little bit. Right now it is set to open my exercises. I'm just going to say next, okay? And then it's going to ask me what's the preferred wrist and the button position and where the button should be. So I'm going to keep it as it is for now. I'm going to tap on next. And you can create your multi-sport workouts. We're going to tap on next. Create custom routines, that's fine. Check your body's battery level, okay, tap on next. Understand your sleep better, next. Find out if you are at risk of sleep apnea. That is a new feature, it can detect sleep apnea. Tap on next, double pinch to control your watch. So when you have the watch in your hand, you can go like this to take calls, dismiss alerts, play and pause music, all that good stuff, tap on next. You get all this as a tutorial in the beginning. And you also have emergency functions like fall detection and the siren. All right. Tap on next. You can also set up a mobile plan. This is an LTE watch. It can have its own mobile plan independent of your phone. I'm going to skip that. I just want it to be connected to my uh, smartphone. So it's finishing up. You can also access tips and user guide if you want to learn more. And it says you are all set on both screens. As you can see. And here we are, guys, the Watch Ultra interface. It is saying it is starting, so it should dump us to the main home screen. All right, so we are all set. It's right here. It's on the home screen. Let me show you something real quick. I'm going to give you guys some quick specs. I'm going to go to my settings, and I am going to go down over to my display right here. You can see I have the brightness at around 70%. But let me quickly tell you that this is going to be a 1.5 inch AMOLED display. Resolution is 4080 by 4080. And the maximum peak brightness is a whopping 3000 nits, which is even higher than the S24 Ultra right over here. And you can see we have all these options, adaptive brightness, always on display. We're going to show that to you in a second. Raise risk to wake feature. And we have all these screen timeout and all those other options, as well as the ability to change font and font size. By the way, here's a demonstration of the always on display. So right now, this is the full watch face. You can see it right now. And now it just went into always on display, which you can enable or disable. But this is an all screen color always on display. So here's another example of the always on display. This is the always on display, by the way. So if I flick it like this, it's going to wake up. That is the actual watch face, and then it's going to transition over to the always-on display. It is a color always-on display. looks amazing. Now, some people are wondering if we have a rotating bezel, and we don't. So this bezel here is fixed. It does not rotate, but there is a touch bezel, so you can press and hold here, and then you can rotate, and you can get that rotation functionality. I don't like it, to be honest, and you can actually go to the settings, and go into general right over here and you can turn that off as you can see all right so that's good because i don't want the touch bezel if it was physical i would take it if it's not there not a huge deal so that's just the basics right there another thing i want to talk about is let me just go back home i want to tap on the back button and that's going to take me home you can see the operation is very smooth let me just show that to you. So other thing I'm going to show you guys, pull from the top down. You get access to your quick toggles. They're right over here. And you can edit these. Then you can go back home like this. If you pull to the top, you will get access to your apps. These are just the basics of operation. Okay. So all the apps are right here. Here's a calculator as you can see. So that's great. Let me just skip that real quick. 
Again, let me tap on the back button here and here, okay? And if I swipe this way, these are going to be my notifications. I can swipe through all my notifications right here, which is great. So let me go back to the home. And if I swipe to this way, it is going to go into my tiles that I can also edit and change to what I want. Now the tiles, you can see, I can access them right from here. Okay, and this one is going to match exactly what I have here, the order. So I can customize all that stuff from the actual app on my smartphone. Also, uh, if I go back home and go to the apps, I can also change my apps screen right from here. So exactly what I see here is going to show up right here. Let me show you one example. Take a look at this one right over here, the Google Play. So I'll take this guy and I'll put it to the top right here. I'm going to tap on save. Look at what happens, okay? So that's something you want to keep in mind. You can control all that stuff. Now, the other thing I want to talk about, let me go back home here, press the back button. I can use swipe gestures as well, is we do have a powerful processor in this guy. It is the Exynos W1000 with, with five cores and a three nanometer process. And we have two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. And the battery capacity on this is a whopping 590 milliamp hours. We'll talk about the battery life in a second. Another thing I want to show you guys before we go into even more details is if I go all the way down, if I go to about watch, you can see if I go into my software information, this is one UI version 6.0, the watch version, and also it is powered by Wear OS 5, okay? So you have the latest and greatest software running on this thing. We have all the usual stuff. Again, if I go back into my apps, if I tap over here, that is the sleep apnea tracker that is brand new. So when you're asleep, if you have sleep apnea, it can possibly detect it. We have the ECG monitor, so that is great. If I click on that, I do have to download the app to start measuring my echocardiogram. So you would have to tap on this. It says continue on the phone, okay, and I can install that. That is the Samsung Health Monitor, and that, that could actually track my ECG, and I can measure it from the phone. So we'll let that install. I'm going to go back to my Ultra. I'm going to go back home. I'm not going to do any ECG stuff, but it works just like other previous phones. Here's just a quick demonstration of that heart rate monitor in action. So it is measuring my heart rate right now, and will get me a number. Okay, there we go. I do want to show you some of the cool stuff. So let's go over here to my watch faces, okay? We have a lot of watch faces. This is one of them. I can change them on the fly by tapping on them. Look at what happens. This is a beautiful watch face, all right? And I can tap on customize, and I can customize it to different colors. Absolutely beautiful. Let's uh, go with this one for a second. Look at that, beautiful it's gonna be based on your personality. So that's not gonna be for me. I would pick something like this. Look at that, absolutely beautiful watch face minimalist. This one is nice too, and I can customize it, okay? Look at this, I got that option. Let's tap on save. Okay, all these colors I can pick for the watch, no problem. And if I go to indexes, I can change the indexes, I can change the style, I can change the color, I can change the hands, Okay, I can have different hands as you can see. Tap on save, okay, and it's gonna reflect right there. And then we have all these other options. Okay, some of these you have to download by tapping on that download button, but we have the analog minimal. We have analog modern. This is one of the favorite ones as well. So you can see it's a perpetual watch face. And if I go up here, after I select it, I can customize it. Different colors, different backgrounds, as you can see, different indexes, okay, tap on save, look at what happens, okay? So all that is a possibility, and that is amazing. Now look at this, this just popped up, it says featured watch faces. If I tap on this one, it is going to allow me to download some amazing watch faces. We have the ultra analog, so I'm going to try that. Okay, actually that is the one that we just saw, but you can see there's so much customization on that. Let's pick this one, tap on save, see what happens. All right, beautiful, all right. We have the simple ultra. We have the spatial number. We looked at this already. We have the simple digital. 
So let's see what that one looks like, okay? And I am going to pick the green color, tap on save. That is simple digital, okay? Very nice watch face. I'm going to go back. Actually, no. I'm going to tap it. Something at the bottom. This is the Ultra Info Board. This is probably my favorite. I'm going to tap on save. And look at what we have. This is a beautiful watch face. Again, it is available right over here some under Informative. I also have the Info Board. Let's see what that, that one look, looks like. There it is. But I do love this one for sure. We also have the Info Brick. Okay, I want to show you guys as much as possible whether you are buying this watch or you already have it. Uh, go up, tap on Customize. Let's uh, try this. Tap on Save. Beautiful. All right, let's go back. Tap on this. Change the background. Let me see what we can do. Look at this. Different colors and all that stuff. There we go. Save. Okay, so you can do all that stuff with the watch faces. And if you want to change the watch face on the actual watch, you just press and hold. And you can also swipe through and add watch faces and pick different watch faces on the fly. No problem. Going back to the app right here. We can, like I said, change the apps screen. We showed that to you already. We can change the tiles screen. And that is this area right here. You can fully customize it to fit your needs. Okay. And if I go down, I have all these watch settings. I can also change the quick panel, by the way, from here. Okay. That is the quick panel. But let's go back. So watch settings. We have modes. All right. We got notifications. We've got sounds and vibration. All that stuff is customizable. We can change the display settings right from here. Increase the brightness. Lower the brightness. Okay. On the fly, whatever you do here happens right here. Love that fact. And let me increase that a little bit more. Go back. Battery. So it is learning the usage patterns. I'm going to go back over here. We have buttons and gestures. Now, the action button is customizable. Right now, it is set, so when I press it, it brings up my workouts. It opens my exercises, and I can quickly pick something from here and start working out, okay? Tap to skip, and that's just a workout screen right there. So I am going to swipe over, cancel it. That is how you track your workouts, and I'm going to tap the back button to go home. Now, I can customize that action button and instead have the flashlight come on. Tap on OK. So look at this. Tap the button. Now it is going to turn on the flashlight. It becomes very bright, so at nighttime it makes sense. It's not going to make any sense right here. I can touch this to increase the brightness or reduce the brightness as you just saw. Okay? It, it does go pretty high. That was a blinker. So I can do this, this. I can do the blinker. Okay? Press it again, the action button to cancel it. The action button is fully customizable. Start action button with a short press or a double press. It's going to be up to you. So you just want to tap it once or double tap it to start it. You can set that. You have the siren. So if I press and hold, let's wait for that. Maybe like five or ten seconds. It is going to activate the siren. Okay. We're going to cancel that for now. Then we have the double press. So here's the home button. I can customize that. I can double press the home button to launch an application. Oops, I just set it to be the calculator. So look at this. Double press. That is the calculator. Let me skip that for a second. All right, bring it over here. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. We can also customize the back button right here. Show recent app or go to the previous screen. We also have pinch gestures, shake to dismiss and knock knock. So look at this. Quick launch. Make a fist like this and bend your wrist down and again and it's going to activate the knock knock feature. So you can play with these things when you get the watch but if I turn this on I can select an option. I can even launch an application by using the knock knock feature. Okay. Turn it off and these are some of the buttons and gestures features. Then we have health. You can customize uh, your heart rate. Do you want it to measure every 10 minutes? Do you want high heart rate or low heart rate alerts? Okay, so that is great. If I scroll down, I have all these other options. Here's the sleep. Okay, so, so you can check your blood oxygen during sleep. 
snoring detection, skin temperature during sleep, all these things can be activated. Fantastic. So let's go back over here. And then we have the wallet for making payments. Not a huge deal. Advanced features, as you can see. Auto launch media controls. Remote connection to your smartwatch. Go back over here. We also have device care. You can see battery, storage, memory, 2 gigabytes, storage, 32 gigabytes, 11.3 is already used. I can manage my mobile plans from here. I can manage my apps from here. General stuff right over here. Okay, and I can do watch software update. Let's see if it's up to date or not. It is in fact up to date probably. All right, so we are good. We have the latest software installed and that's about it. So that is the app. You also have tips and user guide and you can quickly access Find My Watch. If you lose the watch, you can quickly access it right from here. The battery percentage shows right there and the current watch face shows right there and that is the name of your watch. If you wanna change the, the name of your watch, you go down to watch settings, go to about, tap on rename, all right, no problem, all right. Now the battery capacity on this thing is massive. It is a 590 milliamp hours battery. That's almost double the 300 milliamp hours capacity you get on the regular Galaxy Watch 7 with the 40 millimeter case. Samsung says you can expect 100 hours of battery life in power saving mode and 48 hours in exercise power saving. We haven't had the time yet to test the actual battery life, but it is going to be pretty long based on what I've seen. And it also has 10 ADM water resistance. Now, Samsung says that the 10 ADM rating allows you to have this watch in a depth of 100 meters for up to 10 minutes. And of course, that is something that's going to have to be tested in real life. All right, so we have covered just about everything here. I love the way this watch looks. The price is high, but you have some really good deals on the website. You have high trading values for your older watches and some freebies. Those links are going to be down below. But beyond that, looks like we did cover everything. If I missed something, drop a comment down below. Let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day.